What are the three qualities of God that Catholics believe in? Answer. Catholics believe that God is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnibenevolent. Explain the problem of evil in relation to the qualities of God. Answer. The problem of evil arises when considering that if God is all-powerful, omnipotent, he should have the ability to stop suffering. If God is all-knowing, omniscient, he should be aware of suffering. And if God is all-good, omnibenevolent, he would want to prevent or alleviate suffering. The existence of suffering seems contradictory to these qualities. How do some Catholics view suffering? Answer. Some Catholics see suffering as an opportunity for personal growth, learning, and performing acts of goodness. They believe that when the good suffer, they should maintain their faith, as God has a purpose that may only be known to him. What does Isaiah 45 suggest about suffering and goodness? Answer. Isaiah 45 suggests that God will reward the good and punish the rebels. Some Catholics believe that if the good suffer, they should keep their faith, as there is a purpose that only God understands. According to David Hume, why is suffering considered one of the weakest arguments for the existence of God? Answer. David Hume considered suffering to be one of the weakest arguments for the existence of God and referred to it as the rock of atheism. He believed that the presence of suffering contradicts the idea of an all-powerful and all-loving God. What is the inconsistent triad proposed by Mr. Mackey? Answer. The inconsistent triad proposed by Mr. Mackey suggests that the combination of any two positions regarding suffering and God's qualities makes the third position logically impossible. It implies that either God does not exist or he is not worthy of worship. Provide examples of natural evil. Answer. Examples of natural evil include natural disasters, such as tsunamis and earthquakes, as well as illness and disease. Give examples of moral evil. Answer. Examples of moral evil include murder, theft, assault, and terrorism. These are evils that result from the actions of humans. How do Catholics explain the existence of moral evil? Answer. Catholics believe in the concept of free will. They see suffering as a consequence of the price humans pay for their freedom. God gave humans a conscience and encourages them to act morally and in the right way. Why do some Catholics see natural disasters as tests of faith? Answer. Some Catholics view natural disasters as tests of faith because they believe that during such challenging times, individuals have the opportunity to demonstrate their faith, perform acts of goodness, and support those affected by the disasters. Answers. Omnipotent, omniscient, and omnibenevolent. The problem arises when considering that if God is all-powerful, he should have the ability to stop suffering. If he is all-knowing, he should be aware of suffering. And if he is all, good, he would want to prevent or alleviate suffering. Some Catholics see suffering as an opportunity for personal growth, learning, and performing acts of goodness. Isaiah 45 suggests that God will reward the good and punish the rebels. So some Catholics believe that if the good suffer, they should keep their faith as there is a purpose only God understands. David Hume considered suffering to be one of the weakest arguments for the existence of God because it contradicts the idea of an all-powerful and all-loving God. The inconsistent triad proposes that the combination of any two positions regarding suffering and God's qualities makes the third position logically impossible, suggesting that either God does not exist or he is not worthy of worship. Examples of natural evil include natural disasters such as tsunamis and earthquakes, as well as illness and disease. Examples of moral evil include murder, theft, assault, and terrorism. Catholics believe that moral evil is a consequence of free will, as humans have the freedom to choose their actions and suffering is the price they pay for that freedom. Some Catholics see natural disasters as tests of faith because they believe individuals have the opportunity to demonstrate their faith, perform acts of goodness, and support those affected by the disasters.